Hello, it's Lolo. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my brand new curly hair routine. I'm going to be showing you my process from washing to drying, including the products that I use, the methods that I do, all that good stuff. So, if you would like to see my curly hair routine, then please keep on watching. Before we get started, why do I always do this? Put my knee like up, okay. <laughs> but before we get started, I have to preface and say that all the products that I'm using today are from Away. Um, and that is because Lil All Me has somehow found her way on the PR list. For the past year now, they've been sending me new stuff once it launches and just, you know, seeing if I like it, if I want to try it out, whatever. So, of course, I'm going to try it out. Free product, you know, and I've absolutely fallen in love. In love. So, today I will be doing my wash and go start to finish using all Way products because I chose to. I'm not, this is not sponsored or anything like that. Um, so I'm gonna say that and then take it as you will. I mean, you can believe me or you won't believe me, but that's what it is. <laughs> so, let's start. This is my hair seven days after my last wash and go. As you can see, my hair is still pretty soft and shiny and fluffy. It looks pretty good, but it's just time to wash that scalp girl. So, you want to grab your brush and gently detangle your hair while it's dry before you get into the shower. This is gonna help to just detangle, loosen up those curls and prevent the water from locking up and making those knots even worse. It's very important to just lightly brush out all the big knots out of your hair while it's still dry. Then. Once I get in the shower, I'm going to give my head a very good rinse with just warm water. I'm going to make sure that my curls are completely soaking wet. So you just want to start out with a good initial rinse to really get your hair um, wet and prepared to wash. So now that I look like a wet rat, <laughs> I'm going to begin cleansing my hair. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go in with the Way Thick Hair Conditioner and I'm going to grab a couple pumps of this and put it from mid shaft of my hair through the ends. Now I love this thick conditioner. I have been using this for a year now. By the way, uh, by the way, <laughs> Way offers these refill pouches um, that are made with less plastic and are better for the environment and you get more bang for your book. So I just poured um, both my shampoo and conditioner into those glass bottles. So that's what it looked that's why it looks a little different. But here's how the refill packet looks. Moving on, I'm gonna coat my hair in the conditioner. I love this conditioner. It's so hydrating, it's so thick. Um, my favorite ingredient in it is the marshmallow root. I don't know. I've never heard of that before but it has been doing great things. I'm gonna let the, let the conditioner sit in my hair while I'm shampooing almost as a pre-conditioning treatment. I'm gonna finger detangle and I think brush through it to make sure that I get all the knots out so that I'm able to get every single strand of hair clean. Okay, one of the most important tips I think for big fluffy curls is clean hair, clean hair. So I'm gonna go in with the shampoo, thick hair shampoo, and I'm gonna start on my scalp, really just take my time with it, have a little moment, breathe in this amazing scent, um, massage my scalp, stimulate the hair follicle, and yeah. I really like the shampoo because I feel like the trend nowadays is for curly people to stay away from anything that is sudsy, that has foamy type of thing because it's gonna dry out your hair and it's the worst. No. No, no, sweetheart. Uh, you just gotta get the right products, you know? So I like this shampoo because it is still super moisturizing. It provides slip. As you can see, I'm still finger detangling as I'm shampooing so I can start to work the shampoo down throughout the rest of my hair. 
Um, this shampoo is free of sulfates, um, parabens, formaldehydes, all that, all that stuff. But it's free of all that stuff. So this means you don't have to be scared to see these sets. It's actually a good thing. So you want to scrub your scalp two to three times or until you really get a good lather going. This lather lets you know that your scalp is clean. So once I get a good lather going, I'm going to work it through the rest of my hair and gently cleanse through the ends and rinse. Like I said, you might have to repeat this whole process two to three times depending on how oily your scalp is. I don't know. So now that we're nicely rinsed, I'm going to go in with the way thick hair mask. This stuff is thick. Thickums. Love this stuff. It is super hydrating and because I live in Las Vegas, which is in the desert, my curls are always so, so dry. So I have to do a hydrating mask every week. This mask has been working great for me. I use it every week. So I'm just going to thickly lay it on there work it really well through each and every strand from scalp to root i mean from scalp to ends calm everything out again enjoy that moment take a breath think good thoughts and then i'm going to wrap it up into a bun and finish up the rest of my shower finally when you're all done with your shower i'm going to rinse using cool water and I know nobody likes the cold water rinse, but it's so, so, so important. You need to close that hair follicle so that your curls are defined and not super frizzy and all over the place. So cool rinse. I just like to dip, I get out of the shower with the mask still in my hair. That's why I didn't film this part. <laughs> and then I'll just dip my head under the tub, turn on the faucet and do it that way so that my whole body doesn't get cold. Um, yeah. I'm gonna get out of the shower, wrap it in a soft t-shirt, and move on to the styling process. Now, the part that you guys have all been waiting for, brand new Whey Curl Cream. Yay! This is the Whey Curl Cream. These are both the same. One is scented and one is not scented, and I've actually had these since Tem. Wait, what am I talking about? I've had these since December 2020. Um, they let me try it out for a month or two so that I can get my honest opinion. And as you can see, this one, she's already halfway gone. This guy is thin. <laughs> she thin. I'm running low. So it has some some of the key ingredients. Like I said, I'm not a chemist but I'm going to tell you some of the key ingredients. So it has coconut and soybean oils to reduce frizz, condition, hydrate, add shine, and so you can have flexible, soft, flexible hold and control. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's, let's start with the scented one. This is the one that I use right when I get out of the shower because it smells so good. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I want this in a, I want this in a perfume bottle, but it smells so good. It's a different scent than the thick shampoo and conditioner that is Mercer Street. I'm not sure what the scent is. They didn't tell me. I didn't, they didn't tell me, but it smells warm, and I feel like it really complements the shampoo and conditioner smell, so you're just like wafting fragrance everywhere you go. Curly people again are really afraid of fragrance because usually fragrance equals dryness because you use alcohol to make fragrance and things but somehow there's some sort of magic in here because it smells bomb but my hair is not dry like i it's just it feels not it's fine it's it's perfectly fine here is the unscented one this one i've been using on a day-to-day -day basis to freshen up my curl when i say unscented it's like <laughs> like you can't smell anything. I don't know what happened. I mean like it's a good thing like it's So unscented that it smells like nothing not even like lotion cream. I guess it kind of smells like lotiony So this one is scent free. So if you are worried about um, The fragrance drying out your hair or maybe you don't like it. You don't like hair scent or whatever. This is also a great option I'm going to work the fragrance curl cream through my 
curls. I'm going to get very close to my scalp. I'm not going to, I'm not going to try to get it on my scalp, but I'm going to get it close to the roots as I can all the way down through the ends. Once again, um, I'm using a generous amount um, because I just, I, this is how much I feel like I need to use. So I really work it in, get it through the whole head, start to scrunch it up as you're working it through, and bada bing, bada boom. I'm going to use a little bit of oil and I'm going to gently just kind of lay that on top of the cream to really seal in the cream and prevent any moisture from escaping my hair. Now that I have the oil in, I'm going to scrunch it up a little bit more until I get, you know, my curls kind of forming how I want it. And then I am going to take a big alligator clip, grab kind of the front layer, the shortest layer, the bang layer of my hair. I'm going to flip my head upside down alligator clip it and kind of scrunch it plop it clip it right on top of my head and that's how I'm going to leave it until my hair dries or is about 80% dry the bottom I'm going to kind of pull down because I want my longest layer of hair to dry in the downwards direction while I want my bangs in the top root to dry in a more upward direction to get that volume I prefer to just let my hair air dry, but I do have a video if you don't know how to diffuse your curls and you wanna learn how, or you're in a rush, check that out. But normally I would just let my hair air dry. Um, so that's why the clip really helps to kind of just keep everything in shape while it's drying. Once it is dry, you wanna go ahead and fluff out your curls. I like to kind of do like a, a this kind of a motion. I call it a jelly bob motion to gently separate the curls this way just so you can get thickness and volume this way and then I'm going to kind of do the same thing I'm going to go like this to get the volume on the top and you want to make sure your hair is completely dry before you shake out your curls and stuff to prevent frizz and all that good stuff so yeah this is literally the easiest curly hair routine I've ever done on my channel ever ever guys I know I don't know it's just two products and you're done I don't got time we don't have time it's 2021 I just like do not feel like using a million bajillion products it's just too much it's too much all right thank you so much for watching this year's curly hair routine um my subscriber shout out this week is going to Sierra Ariel CC my sis a sister from another mister. She also has a YouTube channel, so definitely check her out. I'll leave it linked. I love ya. And don't forget to comment down below. It can be anything. Say hi, whatever. Um, and for a chance to be shouted out. Thank you guys so much for your support. As always, sending you much love and light. So please stay safe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.